So in December of 2014, I put up a video about the fact that I was new to fantasy. I set myself some fantasy goals and I was just generally excited about the whole thing. I said I might do an update in June. Well, here I am with everything kind of really changing. <laughs> Hey Crusaders, today I am going to give you an update on my fantasy goals, which means looking back on my first fantasy goals video and also my 15 in 2015. I might insert a few little clips of some of those videos in because they were from about six months ago and um, a lot has changed with the way I make videos. I actually have a tripod and a camera. Just the very idea that I was new to fantasy seems so different to me now because I mean, I don't feel new to fantasy, I'm always talking about fantasy books on this channel, but to think that it was only around March of 2014 that I read one of my first fantasy books if we're not including Harry Potter, and I just I feel like I've done so much more with this genre and um, science fiction. I'm in love. I'm in love with fantasy and science fiction. And you know why? Because you discover so many new things and so many new words. I am going to tell you some of the things I've encountered over just reading science fiction and fantasy books over the last year. Robots, fairies, assassins, space, travel, planets, superheroes, elves, mystical lands, bards, time travel, parallel universes, wizards, nobles, prophecies, souls, alchemy, necromancy. Bows, swords, battles, Middle Earth, Fae, dragons, devils, vampires, angels, chimera, and just so much more. We don't want to be here all day. When you put it like that, this genre is pretty spectacular. So looking back on my goals, my first goal was to read Warbreaker and that was a success. My second goal was to read The Lord of the Rings and that was also a big success. My third goal was to finish the Nightrunner series and I have to say, got that one in there just before this June update was around. And I have done a series review by the way which will be linked somewhere on the screen. My fourth goal was to read a science fiction book which I have definitely achieved because I've almost read the same amount of science fiction and fantasy. Then we go on to Michael's list which is where I fall down. I have actually not managed to read any of the books on that list, which I don't understand. It obviously must just be because when it came to the time, lots of other books popped up that I wanted to read, but the books on that list still sound so interesting that I want to read them still. Um, so I'll, that list is obviously in my first video. So yeah. My next goal was to read at least two SFF books a month, and I have, I have achieved that. And it was to read 30 in 2015 and so far I have read 18 if you don't include graphic novels or 20 if you do so I am well on track with that goal too because obviously I'm not trying to replace everything I'm still reading my historical fictions and my general adult fictions and all of that good stuff and my last goal was to confidently say that I am a fantasy reader so that well it was to do this And I can confidently say that if anyone did come up to me, I'd be able to do that. <laughs> Whether I'd want to or not. So, for my 15 in 15 science fiction and fantasy books, so far I have read five of them. I have read from that list The Lord of the Rings, Warbreaker, The Fall of the Kings, Fahrenheit 451 and Air of Fire. Now, that list is obviously, there's a bit of tweaking. Some of the books on that list I'm not really that interested any, in anymore, but there are a few that I am still interested in. The, str the hard thing about Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I've really been wanting to read for a while, is that I'm currently watching the TV series of it, and so I don't really have much desire to read the book much anymore. The TV series is good. It's strange. Can someone tell me below if they've read the book and are watching the TV series if it's at all similar, if it does it any justice because I'm watching the TV series first and being so naughty.
If I was to set myself some new goals, one of them would be to actually make my guide to Riverside video that I've said I've been meaning to make for a while because I've read Swords Point Privilege of the Sword and the Fall of the Kings and I could really talk about them good and do a kind of a Riverside overview. What other goals could I make? I'd like to read the Tamiya Triad before the end of December. I would. And I think the book that I'm trying to remember is The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin or someone like that. I want to read that too. And the rest I'm just leaving open. So there we are. Fantasy is going really well for me as you can see. I and you know what else is going well for me? The science fiction and fantasy community on booktube is really lovely. I feel like they do some of the best reviews out of anyone. In fact, there are some people who read a lot of science fiction who are... Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy to be a part of this community and for all of you to have been supporting me and just egging me on as I discover my fantasy and science fiction and it feels really nice. I've found a nice balance in my reading now. i found exactly what I was wanting out of it and I've found so much fun and escapism. I couldn't ask for anything more. So thank you for watching this video. My science fiction and fantasy update playlist will be below because I've done some talk on Lord of the Rings, I've done my Nightrunner series review, uh, Red Rising review, just a few of those things will be down below and I will do an update in December, a one year update. Um, who knows where I'll have gone in the meantime. Until next time, look in the shadows guys!